This video is sponsored by OWC. iOS and iPadOS 15.4 is officially available to everyone. And so in this video, we're going to go over everything in the latest release from Apple. The first big feature we have is Face ID with a mask. Now, we did an entire feature video on this. So if you want to check it out, you can click the card here in the upper right corner. But to sum it up, there is now an option to unlock your iPhone while wearing a mask with no additional hardware required like wearing an Apple Watch. Apple warns that full face ID is the more secure option, but mask face ID is now available. It works with glasses, but it is not compatible with sunglasses, and you must be looking at the iPhone to unlock it with a mask on. It needs to be able to see your eyes pretty clearly, and it's honestly a great feature to have when you're wearing a mask so that now you can authenticate payments, biometrics, and just be able to use your phone in general with a mask on. New emojis make their way over to this iOS update, and so you can expect to see 37 new emojis, including melting face, saluting face, face with open eyes, and hand over mouth, new hand emojis like heart hands, palm up hand, and much more. For personal automations that are set up in the Shortcuts app, there's a new Notify When Run option that lets you toggle notifications for shortcuts that are activated on or off. Now with this option, you can choose to not be notified when a shortcut activates, something that wasn't actually possible with earlier versions of iOS 15. There's now an Apple Card widget for the Today View and of course for your home screen, and it shows your current balance and daily spending in different categories iCloud Keychain users can now add notes to any password entry, bringing iCloud Keychain more in line with other password managers like 1Password, for example. Speaking of iCloud Keychain, you can now hide recommendations for weak or compromised passwords by tapping on the X button next to that alert. The action will now hide the security recommendations so that it doesn't actually show up in the main password section of the settings app. For you iPhone 13 Pro and Pro Max owners out there who might have noticed 120 hertz animations being a bit inconsistent across apps, well, Apple has said that there was a core animation bug that should be fixed in a future update, and it appears that iOS 15.4 is in fact that update. This will now help third-party apps display full 120 hertz animations on users with compatible iPhones. A real quick update on SharePlay. In apps that support that feature, there's now an option to quickly activate it directly from the share sheet. Um, inside of the TV section of the settings app under preferences, you can now choose still frame or poster art options from the up next display in the app. Still frame shows you still frames from what you're watching, while poster art shows the main title images for shows or movies. So you can Pick which one you want based on your preference. We also made an entire video surrounding the new tap to pay on iPhone feature, but a quick rundown on that is that it's now designed to allow NFC compatible iPhones to accept payments through Apple Pay, contactless credit and debit cards, and other digital wallets without requiring additional hardware. Tap to pay on iPhone is enabled in iOS 15.4, but it does require third party providers to add support. Stripe has announced that it will be the first payment platform to offer tap to pay on iPhone to business customers, including Shopify users. In the podcast app, if you're viewing a show in your library, you can now filter episodes by played, unplayed, download, or saved. And there's also an option to go to any show and filter for a specific season iOS 15.4 adds a new Siri voice for American users, which can be elected from the settings app by going to Siri and search and then selecting Siri voice. And then it's option number five. There's also new anti-stalking features for AirTags implemented into this update. When setting up an AirTag or Find My Accessory, there's now a warning that the device is locked to an Apple ID and that using it to track someone without consent is a crime. With this warning, Apple wants to make it very clear to those who would use AirTags and Find My compatible devices from third-party companies as stalking tools that such a case is in fact illegal and has criminal repercussions. And lastly, for those who have an iPad and a Mac, you should definitely update to iPadOS 15.4 and macOS 12.3 to take advantage of Apple's universal control feature. Again, like the other major features with this update, we have a full video going through everything that you need to know. But in a nutshell, this feature lets you use a single cursor and keyboard to control the iPads and Macs that are signed into your iCloud account. There are, of course, a few other minor tweaks, changes, updates, and bug fixes with this new iOS 15.4 update. So be sure to check the description for a full breakdown of everything new in iOS 15.4. But I'd love to know your thoughts about this update in the comments down below. 
Before we end today's video, I do want to give you more information about today's sponsor, OWC. If you just recently picked up a new Mac and are looking to expand ports, then the OWC Thunderbolt Hub, which is now available for new M1 Macs and all Thunderbolt 3 equipped Macs, is going to be a great option. The OWC Thunderbolt Hub offers the new Thunderbolt hubbing technology. You can now have four Thunderbolt ports plus one USB port on your new Apple M1 Mac, an Intel Mac with Thunderbolt 3, or any Thunderbolt 4 PC with this compact hub. You can now connect and charge any device with a USB-C or USB-A connector, support up to two 4K displays or a single 5K, 6K, and 8K display, add high performance storage, including NVMe solutions, and generally make your workflow work for you by adding AV mixers, phones, or tablets, even desktop accessories, all through one single Thunderbolt port. The OWC Thunderbolt Hub is available now, and you can click the link in the description down below to pick up one or any other products from OWC that you might be interested in. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you around in the next video.